Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are building a next level AI gadget, a fully offline voice assistant that can talk, listen, and show emotions on the mini display. It runs on the Raspberry Pi 5B with the display hat and the Pi Super 3 Plus battery pack. This little body works anywhere without internet, private, portable, and playful. So let's get started to make your own AI friend. Here is our setup checklist. For the Raspberry Pi 5B, I recommend using the model with 8GB of RAM or more, because running all the AI software together typically use around 4GB of memory on its own. This setup gets hot enough to cook breakfast, so an active cooler is a must if you want stable performance and a happy Raspberry Pi. Since we are installing the Pi Sugar underneath the Pi, the cooler's push pin is a little too tall. We need to gently bend it outward and press it to reduce the height. Then add a stackable GPIO header so the display hat will fit perfectly on top. Next, install the Pi Sugar battery by aligning its pins with the GPIO side and securing it with the four screws. Finally, place the display head on the top of the GPIO header and gently press down the both sides until it fully sits on the pins. And just like that, the hardware assembly is complete. Now, let's dive into the software parts. I'm using Raspberry Pi Imager to flash the SD card. Pick Raspberry Pi Model 5 and the latest OS version and make sure to set the device name, Wi-Fi and enable SSH before flashing. After flashing the SD card, take it out and plug it into the Raspberry Pi. Turn on the Pi using Pi Sugar's power button. After the Pi starts up, it should join your Wi Fi. Grab an IP scanner to find its IP. Then SSH into the Pi using the address we just found. First, let's install the display head drivers. Simply copy the installation commands from the display project and run them. Once the driver is installed, the Pi will reboot. Just wait a bit and then SSH back in. Head into the display example folder and run the text program. Click the display button and you will see the screen update and hear a test voice. Transform your Pi into a portable interactive device with the Pi Sugar display hat. Transform your Pi into a portable interactive device with the Pi Sugar display hat. Now we are ready to install the checkbox program. Git clone the repository onto the Raspberry Pi.
Just copy and execute the commands to install all the dependencies. Use the template to create a .mv file. I'm using Whisper for ASR, Olama for LLM, and Piper for TTS. We won't need imaging generation this time. This feature requires an API. Here, I turn up the thinking mode so responses come faster. For Olama, I'm using Quen 3 1.7b model because DeepSeek R1 talks too much. Setting serve Olama to true will start the Olama service when the chatbot launches. For now, we will leave the .mv settings here. We will come back later to configure Piper. For now, just save the file. Run the build script for the chatbot program. Now that the main chatbot app is installed, we still have a few local services to set up. First up, Olama. You can install Olama using the official script from GitHub, but that script downloads a huge compressed package directly on the Pi, which is super slow. So instead, I download that package on my laptop first, transfer it to the Pi using the FTP tool. Just drop the file into the Pi folder. and then run the install Olama script that already included in the chatbot folder. This install Olama directly from the local compressed file, way faster than letting the Pi download everything itself. Once Olama is installed, we can start it by running the Olama serve command. Open a new SSH terminal and run olama run queen 3 1.7b. The first time you do this, olama will download the corresponding model file. The download can take a while, and if the speed drops significantly, just rerun the command. Olama supports resuming from where it left off. Now we can try talking to the model. It will show its thinking process, as well as the final answer. The thinking process usually helps the models give better answers. But with small models, the difference is pretty minor. So I made it optional. If you want to make your model to think before replying, just toggle it in the doc .env file. Next, we will install the Pi Sugar Power Manager, because the checkbox battery indicator relies on it. Alright, now let's go ahead and install Whisper. Whisper is OpenAI's speech-to-text engine. It can turn your voice into text completely offline, which is perfect for our project. Just copy the Whisper install command, edit break system packages, and execute it.
give the whisper command a try to make sure it's working. Now I am testing whisper with an MP3 from the whisper example folder. By setting the model size to tiny, it will download the model immediately, instead of waiting the checkbox to do it later. You can see the accurate transcribes the content of the audio file. Next, we will install the final service, Piper. Piper is a local text-to-speech engine. It can convert text into neural sounding speech entirely offline. And it's optimized for the Raspberry Pi. Just like Whisper, simply copy the Pi install command, edit break system packages, and execute it. Run which command to find where Piper is installed. We will use this path in the .mv file. Next up, we need Piper's model files. Head over to Piper's GitHub voice page. You can listen to samples and grab the download links. A rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon that is caused by reflection, refraction, and dispersion of light in water droplets resulting in a spectrum. Make sure to get both the Onyx and JSON files and put them together. I will place them in a new folder called Piper. Copy the path of the model file. We need to add Piper's path and the model path to the .mv file. And that's it for the software setup and configuration. Alright, time to launch the chatbot and see it in action. Use bash run chatbot script to start. How to make a pizza?
Now I will turn on the thinking mode. Let's give it another try. Hello, could you please tell me a joke? You can see the model's thinking process showing up on the screen. Here's a light-hearted joke. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Hey, pale. Let me know if you'd like another. Tell me another one. You can hear the fan kicking in. The city is getting pretty warm now. Here's a quick joke. Why did the dog wear a hat? Because he was a dog in a hat. Let me know if you'd like another. What's your name? Just a fun conversation together. We can explore the world with curiosity and joy. Everything looks good. Now for the final step, we will use the startup script to make the chatbot run as a system service, so it automatically starts up when the Pi powers on. And that's our offline AI build. Everything from voice recognition to response generation and speech runs locally on the Raspberry Pi. No Wi-Fi, no server, just your Pi thinking on its own. Offline is the new smart. I believe the future holds even more possibilities for small, self-contained devices like this. If you enjoyed this project, hit like, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.